What's up ladies and gentlemen? Look at all the cool stuff I got so far. Got my amp, got my BD-1000, got my crossover, got my Optima sound battery for the back of my truck. No, it's coming together pretty good guys. Ah, pretty soon I'll ever soon be going into my truck. Oh, that's gonna sound awesome. It's gonna wang. That old school BD-1000 right there, that's a one channel amp. That is old school. Those amps are not made like they used to be made. That is true power right there, guys. And a lot of people tell me that these old school amps, they push out more power than what they say they do. I just never had a chance to dyno that amp and to see how much power it pushes out. But I took it to my buddy's uh, sound shop this, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, Mobile Electronics, and I had them hook it up for me just to see if it lights up and works. And we tested it, it works fine. Oh, that stuff is going to be loud. Especially with the Scar Audio subs I'm buying too. I'm buying two uh, VD series uh, Scar 12 inch subwoofers. They're 500 watts RMS and Max Power, they're uh, 800 watts Max. So that's not too bad. That's decent for right now until I can save up money for the other stuff I want to get. But I'm just getting this stuff right now so I can have some bump in my truck. And you never know, it might hit really, really hard after I get done with all of it. Yep, there's all the stuff. And I got a lot more stuff too. I got a high amp. And there are two I'm going to probably use on the highs. But my truck's got a factory amp. It's got the bowls. Factory amp? I don't know if I'm going to use the factory amp. Well, it's about to get really loud here, guys. Pretty soon. Let's see what else I got. I got all kinds of stuff. I got my bass knob. I got like two bass knobs. I got one for the crossover and one for the BD-1000. I had that crossover for years. Still works like a champ. Yep. Pretty soon I'll be installing all the stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to get my uh, my power cable to run from the front to the back battery, so into the amp. So that's going to be pretty good. Can't wait. Can't wait to get everything all hooked up and bump around. Stuff looks pretty nice. Look at that old school BD-1000. I don't want to move it around that much. There you guys go. Get some new speaker wire too to like run the subs and series and stuff. Oh boy. And I got an O-amp down there too. I got a MTX, but that amp doesn't even work anymore. It has it. I think I burnt out the channels in that amp when I was like 17 years old. Just got it sitting right there. I could probably have it fixed. I don't even think it's that many watts. I think it might be like maybe 500 watts or 250. Well, that's an old school amp too. That's an old school MTX. Looking at everything I got, I don't know what all I got anymore. Let's know I got a lot of stuff. Okay, I got braces. So I can use those to like screw my box down into the floorboard on my truck so nobody can steal it. So that's good. Got that stuff. Yeah, I'm just hanging out in my basement. 
Yeah, I used to, uh, I used to play drums, too. I used to be in a metal band. Haven't played in a couple of years. I still got my drums and stuff just stacked up because there's not too many places to play around here, so once I get it in a bigger house, I'm going to start playing my drums again, too, and maybe start jamming with a few guys, maybe. I don't know. Well, that's the stuff that's going into the truck, guys. That's my video, Bose video that came out of my truck. It's a six decks this uh, CD changer built in. It's a nice radio. I just wanted to go with an aftermarket radio. I went with an aftermarket TV radio. So that amps just that radio is just gonna be sitting around collecting dust. That's gonna go back into the truck if I ever decide to sell the truck and get something newer. Or get uh maybe a Yukon maybe I don't know. But so far I'm keeping that truck, so that's why I'm doing all this work to that truck. And I'm still making payments on that truck, so that truck's not going anywhere for a couple of years. Yep, got more uh cardio stuff down in there, got another amp down in there, got a crunch. I think it's a crunch uh I can't see, I got so much stuff. This might be a crunch five hundred. That's what I used to use for my highs and stuff. Well, if I decide to use a different amp, I might go with a a scar, maybe thousand watt, maybe for the highs, maybe. I don't know. I'm just getting everything together right now, just to get it ready to be installed because I'm gonna install it. Maybe not this weekend, not next weekend, maybe the weekend after that, when I have everything all together. Then I'll be making a video of me installing everything and hooking everything up and testing it. And My buddy uh, is going to use his uh, MSD to set my game for me, so that's going to be nice. Set the games the right ways. Make sure there's no clipping. Make sure there's no distortion. Set the base on the amp the right way. Set the base on the crossover the right way. The right way. Yep. Just gotta remember how to hook all this up. Oh, okay, in the middle is the sub, okay, and at the end, the output is high pass, so, okay, so, now I remember how to hook this up, I haven't hooked it up for a long time, so, I just had to look at it, and, so now I know how to hook it back up, huh. it's been a long time since I've been into the game, guys. Well, this stuff is going to be killer, I'm telling you. I had this stuff all hooked up in my old truck. That stuff... My truck was hurt from like three blocks away with the subs I had. I remember getting pulled over by the cops a few times. Telling me to turn it down because they heard me coming from three blocks away. I can't wait to get those uh, scar subs. It's going to sound like I got kink. King Kong in the back of my truck trying to get out. Man, I gotta clean up this basement. <clears throat> but there we go. Yep. If you know anything about old school amps, you know that amp right there, that amp is a beast. <coughs> that 
that's just the battery I'm going to use for the time being until I get the money for a, a XS battery. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe a 4,000 watt battery. Or I'm just going to use that one until I save up the money for everything I want to get, like for the new stuff. Because next year I'm doing a big build. If you guys seen the uh, last video where I <coughs> where I talked about it, you guys know what I'm talking about for next year. <coughs> oh boy. Yep, guys, so stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more videos to come. And there's going to be install installation videos coming too, guys. Of me putting all this stuff in my truck. And if I ever make any changes, I'll make a video too. And remember, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, remember, smash that sub button. Because you guys are going to want to stick around for all this stuff. You guys are going to want to stick around for a demo too. Oh, it's going to get real low, guys. Thank you guys for all the support, too. You guys are the best. And I'm going to be putting out a lot more content, too, guys. So, of me giving demos to people, too. So, it's going to be fun. It's going to be real fun. Thank you, guys. thank you guys for all the support and thanks. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Yep, this is all the stuff that's going in. And when the subs come, I'll make a video of me un unboxing the subs and stuff and talking about the subs. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around, guys. It's going to get crazy. This is just the beginning, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night, guys. Bye, guys.